Okay. So I think it's a sign. I had to reschedule my exam again. This is the third time. <sighs> I had breakfast. I slept early. I did the whole nine, you know, studied. I logged in an hour and 40 minutes ahead of time just to make sure that everything was great. I was troubleshooting this one thing that says it's going to cause me to lapse, cause, like, I don't know. Anyways, I had to disable the couple of craps. And then I get to the final part where it says your live webcam. Which I thought we were, we, because right when you log in, it checks audio, video, and recording. And that was already checked. But it wasn't enough for Pearson View. So they did it again. And then they said I, they were having trouble um, with me being able to uh, do live streaming. And I have to contact my administrator, which is AT&T. And that's going to take a while. And at that point, it was 2.30. And my test was to start at 2.45. I wasn't going to have time. I had to reschedule. And so I, the soon as I had was the 18th on Monday at 4.00. 15. <sighs> well, I can't get a job until I pass this exam. It's just so frustrating. So frustrating. I'm trying my hardest. It is, it's like a never ending for me. As much as I try, it's just. I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to work. I'm trying to work. I'm I'm doing all these exams and testing and and going out of my way. I did background checks and what else do you want from me? You want to draw blood? Do you need my dental? I mean, just trying to get a legit job. It's this effing hard. It's ridiculous. In the meantime, I was finding with fraud from 2022. Um, ironically, there is a charge. The last charge was made on my ex's birthday uh, last year, 2023. January... 24th 2023 and it was from um an old account that we used to have together so fraudulent yes yes it is because i closed that account <sighs> gosh i can't even Ugh. It's just a never-ending story. And then I thought of the four um, T-Mobile accounts that are in my name. He's the only one that knows my social by heart. I mean, being married 20 years and me putting everything under my name. People, don't do that. Yeah, you're married for a long time, but don't be. Don't use your information. Because you never think this would happen to you, but it did, and it does.